It's also expected today. We're shifting our focus now to some more breaking news now coming in. This is from uh, Baramulla where the NI raids are currently underway. A shopkeeper has been raided by the NI. So this is uh, coming in of uh, multiple locations uh, in Baramulla. That is what is being said by these raids that have been conducted. Uh, raids previously. Uh, in regard to SIA that has also taken place in Baramula before uh, but this is uh, coming at a time uh, when a shopkeeper is being currently raided by the NIA. We'll be shortly joined by our uh, reporters to give us more details on exactly uh, where uh, in uh, Baramula in particular where uh, these raids currently are taking place. Uh, but these are the initial details that we are picking up as uh, earlier the SIA raids uh, had also taken place in uh, central Kashmir and uh, also when it comes to the case of misuse uh, when it comes to money for terror and crime. Uh, these are basically what is being said that the purpose of these raids that are being carried out uh, even when it comes to narco terror financing cases. Uh, the raids, uh, these raids should be uh, what is being said could be carried out in this regard. So let me go across to Ishan now. Ishan, more details please. Uh, well, we're told locations in Baramula have been which was for track down all these uh, fundings or, uh, you know, uh, the modus operandi of how these outfits work and how uh, they are provided not only the logistical support, but also monetarily funded and supported. And that's why uh, these uh, organizing like SIA was formed and that, that has been tasked to carry out specific raids on those people whose uh, name have emerged in certain kind of investigation. And uh, we don't know whether what kind of raids or, uh, you know, what is the purpose of these raids. But yes, SIA has been thoroughly investigating the root cause of the entire money trails that have been found or providing logistical support. Uh, you know, there are certain rates to be carried out at the mobile stores, for example, where certain uh, SIM cards of uh, people who provided SIM cards to militants or the outfits to carry and they were used, misused. Uh, these kind of rates have also been done by the SI. Uh, we're told one of those person who has been raised, raided in Baramula is a shopkeeper by profession. And uh, we, we, we are assuming right now that uh, these rates are linked to the funding of, uh, you know, outfit and also providing logistical support. Uh, now, as, as SIA has been specifically tasked on the lines of NIA to investigate and crack down on any kind of funding and those investigations are going on. There are raids which were carried out by the SIA previously also, as you mentioned uh, earlier. Uh, yes, we are waiting for more details from the SIA to what really these raids are regarding. Uh, but he is a shopkeeper by profession and two places in Barambula have been raided as we speak. Okay, all right. Ishan, thank you for joining us with those details. Uh, now to some more breaking news that's just coming in. Two more raids that are expected, big raids expected in West Bengal today. Uh, this is right ahead of the court hearing. Uh, so it's expected not just in Kolkata, but in the outskirts of Kolkata as well. Remember, the raids have continued. The Enforcement Directorate officials have also discovered six more flats that were in the name of Arpita Mukherjee and her company. So more and more details that have now been emerging after the raids. And uh, this is happening at the time when both of them will be uh, produced before the court. So making a watertight case there before uh, the case comes up. Uh, two more major raids that are expected to be conducted by the Enforcement Directorate. And uh, that would be happening uh, before when uh, Partha Chatterjee and Arpita Mukherjee would be produced before the court. Uh, what is being said that two teams are out already and the raids can also happen outside Kolkata. So they are not ruling out uh, when it comes to not remaining within Kolkata. The teams are on the go but what exactly are those locations? Uh, that is still not uh, been uh, uh, given out when it comes to the details. Where exactly are they looking for and what are they looking for exactly? Tamal, if you can throw more light on that. Well, uh, at this point in time, the focus is entirely on properties. Because mind it, in the past uh, one week and even more than that, in the past 10 days, we have seen that at least from two properties, one in Toligenj, the other one in Belgoria, in two upscale properties, they had recovered huge amount of cash. Now, thereafter, even though the search had been uh, for the cash, but then they have also realized that uh, the cash money which they had allegedly amassed through, uh, 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 through several scams as proceeds of crime have also been invested after properties. They have literally passed their money uh, in, in forms of properties, as in forms of investments. Uh, in some cases, you have seen as how properties have been acquired through simple registry. Properties have been acquired at, in an undervalued rate. Properties have been jo jointly acquired by both Partha Chatterjee and uh, Arpita Mukherjee. And mind you, these property acquiring business started back in 2012. So their association uh, has been since 2012. Otherwise, why would 
somebody has joint properties. That's one. Second of all, at this point in time, with these raids, enforcement directorate officials are trying to find out more and more properties because that's what they fear that all they right. got money had been. So rate can continue today as well. The details are still coming out exactly what would be those possible locations. Uh, and this is being said that uh, will happen before uh, Partha Chatterjee and Arpita Mukherjee are expected to be presented before the court. For the moment, Tamal, thanks very much. We'll come back to you. You're watching the morning news. Uh, we'll be back after a short break.